The chance for a severe weather episode next week is going up. What's going on, guys? Certified meteorologist Jonathan Keg is back with you. In this episode, we are going to define the threat area and talk about some of the ingredients that are coming together that's increasing confidence, at least for one of the days next week. Again, there's still uncertainty with the timing of this and how amplified the disturbance is going to be. So we're going to break all that stuff down. And then stick around to the end of the video. We're going to do something new. We're going to do a two-day forecast showing you the high-resolution model forecast getting into the weekend for the entire country. So stick around to the end of the video for that. I would love to know what you guys think about that. Post that in the comments. Also would love if you post in the comments where you're tuning in from. And if you want to stay updated on all things weather, hit that subscribe button for me. We'd love to have you on board if you find value in this content. And I hope you do. Hit that thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot. All right. So I first want to show you what we're dealing with. Then we're going to look at some of the analogs in the Storm Prediction Center highlight of where this threat could unfold. And we're going to pick that out right here by first looking upstairs. It's the most important aspect. There are several components, but you like to look upstairs first. Here is the disturbance in question. First and foremost, this is Monday, February 26th. And here is our disturbance coming through the Pacific Northwest that's out of Boise, Idaho. And then here we go. This is as we get into Tuesday. And we're really looking at the Tuesday into Wednesday time frame for the potential for severe weather. And here is our trough. And it's going to be just like this. It's going to be this area. It's like the base of the trough and then to the east. That's where we're going to have the best potential anyway for some stronger thunderstorms. Certainly, it's a little better oriented than what we were looking at a couple of videos ago uh, in the middle part of this week. But nonetheless, it's taking on a different look. There are some timing aspects of this uh, differences between a couple of the model runs so it's something that we are still watching for here we go wednesday february 28th and you see this thing is negatively tilted now and we have a lot of wind energy coming around the base of the trough and then blasting up into parts of western new york western pennsylvania the severe weather threat into the east on that day two of this potential round of severe weather on Wednesday, it's a little more uncertain. So for that, I do want to show you the actual threat level before we go into some of the ingredients and to the future high resolution radar. So this is a side by side comparison here. This is an analog from uh, CSU, Colorado State University, uh, showing what their machine learning stuff is kind of pinpointing in terms of where the severe weather threat is going to be. On the right here is the official day five outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. So we'll start with the right first, and they have hoisted that 15%. Again, anytime we're out of the traditional day three, if you're unfamiliar with how the Storm Prediction Center does things, they'll do their anywhere from marginal to high risk on day one, day two, day three. They also have their day four through eight outlook, but they don't highlight anything unless there's a little bit more confidence to do so. So they have the 15% here highlighted from about Chicago, Gary, Indiana, into St. Louis, uh, Little Rock, into Fayetteville, Arkansas, uh, just to the north of the Red River there in eastern Oklahoma as well. So that's the Storm Prediction Center highlight. Taking it a step further here and bringing some of the computers into the into the fold, you see there's a, a heightened sense of that where that red pops up here. They go up to 30%. So we'll be watching this closely again as we really watching the same kind of defined area. And this one even extends the severe threat closer to uh, Grand Rapids and Detroit, Michigan as well. Uh, Toledo, Ohio in the fold of here. And that's where some of the uncertainty uh, begins to unfold a little bit. We can switch this and look at the day six. This is going to be the next day. This is that Wednesday. Storm Prediction Center has it highlighted into parts of the Deep South. Uh, Huntsville, Alabama, getting into Montgomery. Uh, Mississippi included in this, into Kentucky, Nashville, Tennessee, Memphis, eastern Arkansas, eastern Louisiana. That's the official Storm Prediction Center highlight. Note, though, that albeit a much lower chance to see the brown here. That's a 5% shot, and that kind of highlights some of the uncertainty in how the storm system behaves. So for that, we're going to go back to the other weather computer now. And again, if you want to see the two-day forecast for the entire country, stick around to the end. Again, you can look at the chapters. I have those in the description. So this is Tuesday now, kind of in the risk area, and there might be uh, this garbage stuff going on early in the morning. This is going to be outside of the risk area, but still some heavy rain potentially ahead of that system into Columbus, uh, Roanoke, Virginia, western Pennsylvania, climbing through Erie. It's going to be the afternoon and evening. This is where we are going to be watching for that potential and there is some we don't have every ingredient here and I'm going to show you that in just one second but nonetheless 
You see from about St. Louis to Indianapolis to around Chicago, that's where really blast things up. And then late into the evening, there's 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, all the way from Detroit again, still back to Chicago. And then there you go. There is that risk area. And we could have some very nasty storms. Uh, in here all the way through Indianapolis, Paducah, Memphis, Tennessee, where you see the darker reds and certainly purples again. And that is a pretty big signal to see this far out. Again, this is going to be on Tuesday of next week. This line presses to the east, and then you see it disintegrating there, and then this goes out until next Thursday. This is another system that rides up, but that's a story for another time as we are focused on that severe weather threat. Now, there are some questions as to the moisture transport leading up to this thing to be able to sustain thunderstorm development. There is a lot of wind energy, as I showed you with that upper level trough sliding through that short wave coming out of the Pacific Northwest. So that is really the main component here, but we're looking at the dew point temperatures and we do see we have a little bit of a moisture tongue here coming out of the Gulf. It's still not, it may not be enough to sustain. If there's going to be a limiting factor here, it's going to be the instability and it's going to be the amount of moisture for the storms to kind of feed off of. So again, it's, it's not a slam dunk severe weather outbreak per se certainly you saw the the main signal and that's there and that's why even at this stage in the game five days out from the potential severe weather uh that we are kind of ringing the alarm bells at least hey there's something going on here that we need to pay attention to we'll see how this continues to evolve over the next few days so there's the moisture surging up i mean still though dew point temperatures in the low to mid 50s in chicago at the end of february that's pretty insane so we do have ample moisture it's just the way that, that it's oriented uh coming out like that so we're gonna have to wait and then you see these aren't temperatures these are the dew point temperatures so then a big blast of dry air uh, comes in on the other end, on the other side of that system. Wanted to show you just some of the differences here, and here is the GFS. It's a little deeper of a trough that slides through. There's Tuesday, February 27th. It also looks like it's a little slower, because there we go on Wednesday, and there we have the trough just coming out of Des Moines, just coming out of Iowa into Illinois. And again, we'd be looking right in this region for the potential for the stronger thunderstorms on the base into the east of that trough that slides on through. So we are watching. All right, let me get my head out of the way here and we're gonna do something different. We're just gonna show you kind of a wide view of what you can expect over the next couple of days here. We're starting uh, with a high resolution future radar on Friday afternoon today, February 23rd. And you see where some of the active weather is. We have a cold front out here pushing off the Eastern seaboard. Little weak impulse that comes through. Could bring a little light snow you saw it there from about Detroit to Roanoke. Again, this is nothing big. Uh, the next weather system, and again, this is related to the piece of energy that's going to go into the potential for severe weather. You see it bringing some snow into the western Montana, some higher elevation snow uh, in the Cascades, um, some snow coming into Calgary as well uh, as that continues to work its way through. So that is what we are going to be watching over the next two days, relatively quiet. And then we ramp things up potentially in a big way next Tuesday and Wednesday. So again, if you are in that area of the Midwest, really from Eastern Oklahoma to about Chicago through Detroit, even parts of the Mid-Atlantic, it's something to continue to check in on as we watch this evolve. Again, the pieces of this system are still way out over the Pacific Ocean. So again, there's a lot of time for things to change. The overall signal is there though, that we could be looking at some nasty thunderstorms uh, in those areas that we highlighted. So just keep it here. We got you covered going forward here as this uh, system slides on through. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Post in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the nationwide and even parts of Southern Canada look. Would love to know, uh, get your feedback on that or feedback on anything. Let me know your thoughts of the severe weather potential and uh, where you're tuning in from. Hit that subscribe button and we will catch you next time.